in restoration. Plentiful sunshine yet again across the tri-state area. We continue to string together this nice stretch of weather. Conditions starting to change as we head into our Thursday. Again, I like to call it Friday Eve just because it gives you a bit more pep in the step as you step out the door as we begin the day tomorrow. Increasing mid top level clouds, more so some zero stratus, thin and wispy ice clouds, but still layered in nature. More so why we have that sort of a nomenclature and those will continue to build in as we head into the overnight hours and begin our day tomorrow. I do, I do still expect some rays of sunshine through tomorrow, especially late morning, early afternoon. We're still going to be under the influence of high pressure. That's well to our northeast, although our next weather system, the center of low will continue to spin as it's parked in position across the Midwest. Now, with that being said, we will return the potential setup of a few light drizzle. If anything, we can call it light pockets of precip misty conditions just after midnight on Friday into the early morning hours. Primary time frame, let's say between midnight Friday through 6 a.m. And I do expect the bulk of this to pretty much be wrapped up by 4 or 5 o'clock. Your morning commute tomorrow or Friday, that is, will try and drive. The next 24 hours, we have nothing to worry about whenever it comes into precipitation. And not much whenever it comes into accumulating precip across the tri-state area either. Over the next five days through Tuesday, generally speaking, we're right around a quarter. Best chances for a half inch or more across central and southern West Virginia, but through our region, generally speaking, a quarter inch. And the bulk of this precip more so expected to move in as we head through Saturday morning into the afternoon hours. That's also when we can expect an uptick in those winds. But nothing to worry about. An uptick in temperatures yet again across the mountain state. We maxed out in the mid to low 50s. I told you we would expect to eclipse the 50 degree mark. We did. We got through that today, but still quite warm. Aside from the eastern panhandle starting to cool, we'll continue to cool as we head through the overnight hours and wake up tomorrow morning right around the freezing mark. However, this is still warmer comparative to what we had the last several days, especially Monday, Tuesday, even through our Wednesday morning. We bought them out in the mid to upper 20s, but moving forward Friday and Saturday morning, no real need for jackets. Again, perhaps just a light one. If anything, just a light pullover. If you have that uh, for any sort of Friday morning and Saturday morning activities, the weekend does trend to be a bit more active, but nothing widespread more so until we head in through the day Saturday, late morning, early afternoon. We'll take a peek at that later on into work week. But let's take a peek at what we can expect to see through our Thursday. Again, mid to upper level clouds will continue to roll through. There will be pockets of sunshine. Nice change in pace. Rain activity, very weak disturbance starts to roll through as we head just past midnight into the early morning hours of your Friday. This will provide a brief shower or two spotty shower late in the day on Friday. But again, it's not going to be anything widespread, problematic, nor cause problems moving forward. Temperatures stay well above average, mid to upper 50s through Saturday. Breezy winds that return Friday and Saturday will blow sustained 10 to 15. Gusts of 25 30 are certainly possible. Late day Sunday showers into Monday will continue to see a downward trend in temperatures, cooling to the low 40s midway through next week. Chance for some wintry mix early in the day on Tuesday.